I'm going to tell you about an incident that has trickled down through history and has uh, meaning immediately today. On the 17th of March of 1945, about a week before the battle ended, a Japanese soldier walked out of a cave, and it was just at dawn. Uh, he had a surrender leaflet in his hand. He was naked except for a pair of field boots and a, and a cotton jock strap. Uh, he surrendered to one of our few remaining lieutenants who had the unlikely name of Candy, Candy Johnson. Uh, Candy called his company commander uh, who joined him, and the three of them stood looking at each other, wondering how to communicate. Finally, the prisoner said in, in very good French, do you speak French? Uh, Lepardo, who was the company commander, was a graduate of Notre Dame and had studied French for four years, so they struck up a conversation. And to make a long story short, this fellow, <coughs> Sakai, turned out to be uh, the chief top secret code clerk for the commander of the Japanese troops on Iwo for Kurabayashi. And of course, as soon as higher headquarters found out that we had this fellow, uh, he was immediately whisked back and ultimately was sent uh, here to Washington to Fort Hunt uh, for interrogation at the highest level. Why is Sakai important? He's important because I have used his story in briefing all of the presidential hopefuls in the election that has just been completed. It included uh, President-elect Obama and Senator Biden. As a matter of fact, Biden came back a second time to hear the story. We, about 40 of us, retired uh, flag officers, have been conducting a quiet campaign to try to convince uh, all hands in our government uh, that we should treat prisoners humanely, that humane treatment is not only morally correct, but it obeys the law and it works. And of course, it worked with Sakai. So we have, uh, uh, we have in effect carried uh, this, uh, this great battle down to the present day. Uh, I have only uh, one other comment to make, and that is uh, the P-51 pilots that Dave mentioned uh, flew 4,000 individual flights, 4,000 sorties, and they shot down or, dis or damaged badly 1,062 aircraft. They all flew out of Iwo, and they really are the unsung heroes uh, of the uh, Army Air Forces because what they did was incredible. And I've, I think of them, when, even Dave, when I think about uh, all of the men that you and I knew uh, whom we had to leave at Iwo. Uh, it was a great battle. It affects us today through the humane treatment of Sakai. Uh, and, and I think we can all take pride here at this table and other veterans who are present uh, in, in what we accomplished there. Thank you very much. <laughs>